is just perfect for chasing down opponents because if a second one hits it slows them down so you can catch up and annihilate them hopefully but it's the ultimate that which is why I love Skana. Um, I just love abilities where you can click and drag them about a bit and they're helpless we've got a bit of action up at the top Caitlyn used her ultimate from very short range and here comes the Carthus ultimate which doesn't kill Trundle how did that happen? not entirely sure oh well we've knocked out one of the turrets and it's currently 7-2 to two. we're still dominating this game quite quite well and it's a pretty good combo right now I'm, I'm not sure why Jockey brought in Uja that close with when he could just stun. Oh, there's the misfortune ultimate. Forget ex forget everything I just said. It was a perfectly laid out plan. I just saw a flash there. And there's Shaco. With the blue buff. It's not very nice. And that was a flash right there. That was a beautiful play by Thermit. A flash over the wall followed by a quick kill of Shaco. As I said, the Shaco isn't very good. Just checking the um, KD right now. Already Shaco's died twice and Udyr's died four times which is hardly what you want for a starting game. Uh, I was I tried to do a gank on Misfortune, slightly failed but um, why am I invading? I don't know. Oh yes I do. I was going to go and do a gank on bottom lane. And Shivana goes epic dragon mode and that was not good. Unfortunately it wasn't quick enough to save Thermit, but we got ourselves a free Shivana in the process, which is always nice. And now I'm um, now I'm chasing down this Ujia. It's what Skana does. And uh, we've zoned him right back to the tower. He'll be away from our creeps for a bit. Uh, yeah, Trundle is going up to mid. Which I think might be a good move. Well, Top is hardly getting pushed right now. And Karthus, he's quite close, but not that close. So, Caitlyn is just going ahead, pushing Top and misfortunes back in the mid. All this while Shaco has been in and around our jungle placing boxes everywhere which is hardly a nice thing. It's most aggravating. But Carthus does the desolate ground thing area of effect. I keep on forgetting what it's called. And it looks like we've got a team fight again going on here. Here comes the Karth Assault. And Jockey steals the kill. As all good supports do. But that does leave Shivana quite low. And they're doing a gank on Karthus here. And here comes the Skana. Oh. I thought we got Trundle. Never mind, I let him go. Oh dear. And we've got a bit of misfortune on misfortune action going on here. All hiding around the turret. Jockey misses one glove. One pull, even. Why does it say glove? I don't know. And up here, we've got the Shaco who's just... It was a clone. Never mind. Anyway, back in the mid, we are taking this tower. I don't care if there's a misfortune there or not. This tower is mine. Boom. That's all she wrote. Shaco is back up top, uh, but being harassed by Caitlyn rather well. And there's a trundle. Yep, there is a trundle. Uh, I decided it would be a good idea to go and help Caitlyn out. And take the golems at the same time. And uh, we got a bit of action going on in the mid lane. A nice pillar of filth stops Shivana, which is exactly what our team wants. And all the while, 
Well, loads of action going on here. I saw a flash somewhere. Oh, what happened there? Okay, I think that was the Shaco boxes. Yeah. What happened was I walked in and Shaco was on ludicrously low health. He walked into the bush and like a little noob, I followed him into five Shaco boxes, got feared and died. Which is always nice. But back in the mid lane, back in the mid lane, uh, Jockey falls down, but Thermit is being chased, Ujior won't catch up, Karthus is there, down goes the ultimate, and it manages to get Shaco. That is a triple kill for Karthus right there, and a free blue buff. All that leaves is Ujio, and Thermit does the cleanup. Misfortune's the only one left, and everyone's pushing. Again, Trundle with the flame, calling calling him a noob. But I'm I really don't like Carthus's ultimate, just because if if it's played well and it changes a team fight, then that is fantastic. But if on the other hand people use it as a kill steal tactic, as you could have a Carthus in the mid lane and let's say let's say hypothetically uh, NC Thermit took down the other AD carry a long way and just before she got the last kill down comes the Carthus ultimate and steals it that's an AD carry that isn't fed which is hardly beneficial in the late game but as you saw with that previous Carthus ultimate if it can get multiple people across the map and lead to a dominant position later on then I'm all for it and there goes the misfortune ultimate from the pull the pull by Blitzprank, the ultimate by me and the cleanup as well that's one less mid misfortune and everyone's happy apart from the enemy misfortune who is deceased uh, now we're just hanging around here trying to hopefully get another one. There's Shivana getting shot at. She turns into epic dragon mode and all oh, hell is breaking loose. Jockey escapes with his life and there is a bit of lag on my screen. Um, but Karthus is there to hopefully pick up the Trundle kill. He did not pick up the Trundle kill. That's not nice. But it saved Sheep Save Bear. So, it's all okay. So, this is about 18 minutes in. The score is 17 to 7. And we are three turrets to the good. And also a dragon to the good. Here comes another Karthus ultimate. Which gets the Shaco I was chasing. I would have raged at that. But... He was going past the turret. I didn't have a crystalline exoskeleton ready. It would have been tough for me to get him without popping a flash. So yeah, I'm indebted to him to be honest. There's the ultimate 